The portable receiver can be used in two ways, with small flexible antennas for handheld situations, or by quickly locking into the antenna array for a video village scenario. There are two ways to power the system, an AC-DC power cable with a 4-pin Hiroshi connector, or directly applying an Anton Bauer or V-Lock battery. A standard Anton Bauer or V-Lock battery will safely power the unit for six hours. The system powers up automatically when plugged in. On the receiver home screen, you can see the antenna strengths by the lengths of the five bars. The longer the bars, the stronger the signal. Under the bars, there is a dB reading for each antenna. Below the dBs, you will see either no video or video present. If it says video present, that means the transmitter is sending video to the receiver. The last line shows you the frequency and channel. The transmitter and receiver must be on the same frequency and channel for the receiver to receive a picture and the video present must be showing on the screen. For the best results, we suggest using the 5.2 frequencies over the 5.8. The E button takes you to the different menu pages. The first page is the headphone level, which shouldn't need to be adjusted. The down key next to the E takes you to the channel selection, where you have the option to select auto or manual channel selection. We recommend manual selection mode, which is the default position. Pressing the down key again takes you to the next page where you can select PAL or NTSC. This only relates when shooting HD, as the receiver will output the HD signal, as well as down convert the HD to a standard definition composite signal simultaneously. Depending on the frame rate of the HD signal, you may want to change between PAL or NTSC for the best composite output. Pressing the down key again, takes you to the region menu page, which includes European, US, Custom 2, and Custom selections. It is extremely important that the transmitter and receiver are in the same selection. Pressing the down key once more takes you to the menu level page. It should be in user with no need to change it. Other menu levels include admin and factory. For these advanced settings, refer to your user guide. Pressing the star key takes you back to the home screen. Holding the star key down powers the system on and off manually. The receivers have a down converted composite test signal output in standard definition for retransmission or monitoring, if desired. The receiver has a stereo 5 pin mini XLR output that allows two channels of analog audio.